on the streets of New York. Hundreds of fans came to see the horse-drawn carriage carrying the casket of Aaliyah. Now her celebrity friends say goodbye. First up tonight. As 22 white doves, each representing one year of Aaliyah's life, were released, the singer's mother broke down in tears. It was a tender moment that encapsulated everyone's feeling of loss and sadness for a life that was cut tragically short. Finally, music legends gathered in Los Angeles on Friday for the funeral of a man credited with inventing soul music, Ray Charles. Hundreds of music fans filed past his open coffin, where the blind singer lay wearing his trademark dark glasses. If the music industry could hold state funerals, this would be one. And even though many stars you helped, and even though he knows they're going to criticize him, Michael said he don't care what they say. Michael came for you today, Mr. Brown. I don't care what the media says tonight. James Brown wanted Michael Jackson with him here today. This is a moment that I wished that I didn't live to see come. But as much as I can say that and mean it, I do know that God is good. And I do, I do know that as much as we may feel, and we do, that we need Michael here with us, God must have needed him far more. young it's not that young <laughs> i guess not then okay have you have you had your first kiss yet yeah do you want to talk about it with us okay sure okay go ahead go for it what was it like it was cool yeah where did it happen uh i don't remember i've kissed a lot of girls since then <laughs> <laughs> your mom's in the room does mom know we need to get her out of here oh. <laughs> mom let's get out of here bye mom <laughs> patty's her name right yeah bye patty all right, well, that I didn't know. I'm a little surprised by this. You've kissed a lot of girls, huh? Not a lot, but a couple. A few of them. But yeah. you have a lot to look forward to, so don't go too fast, okay? I know. I'm just telling you, okay? I know. And uh, are you nervous? Do people like, do you follow like the Jonas Brothers and David Archuleta, these these oh, guys? Not really. Not so much? Do they intimidate you? No. No. You think you're better than them? No. Oh, okay. I don't think I'm better than anybody. No? No. Well, what about it? Who do you think would win in a fight between you and the Jonas Brothers? Probably, probably take them. I, I could probably take all three of them. You think so? Probably. What kind of, do you have a good punch? Yeah. You take them all out, huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm a beast. Justin Bieber symbolizes everything I hate about the music industry. One of my boys from Finnish sent me this little video clip. He said, New Jack, have you seen this yet? And I'm sitting there looking and I said, okay, here we go again. You really actually sound like you're really jealous. You're just jealous of them. You guys are probably just jealous. You say you're not jealous? You're just jealous of me. All the people who hate him, like the girls who hate him, are either attention whores or lesbians. You received responses, threat, threat mail. Let's go to one email that you got from a 15-year-old in uh, Switzerland. Oh, this is a Twitter one that we got. Uh, I hate you because you invented shaved Bieber. Justin Bieber is the best. Uh, we got another one here. Uh, I know many things about you, and I know where you live. Just be aware, I might just appear behind you and shoot you with a gun. And now here's, a, here's the email I was referring to earlier. What, what you're doing is uh, going back to World War II all over again. Hitler wanting to erase Jews from society. You want to erase Justin Drew Bieber.